Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory and welcome to part 10 of my campaign of Saxony in Empire Total War. So we have Prague. Uh, on the last episode, uh, we attacked an army roughly similar in size and composition to this one. Uh, so we've eliminated that and also a couple of regiments that were stood outside the city and drove off these regiments as well. Um, our army, I think we lost maybe just over a third of our strength. But we're in decent enough shape. We're not going to be attacked by the Austrians unless they've got another full stack somewhere around, which I don't think they do. The big worry is actually Hanover. So we've just recently defeated them for the second time and drove them off, and Westphalia as well. But the worry is that this army might come and attack Dresden. Well, actually, if it attacks Dresden... I think we're in reinforcement range of Dresden when we're sitting in Prague. So maybe they won't. Um, Berlin is exposed, but this force here is just three regiments of Cav, and they're not full, nowhere near full regiments either. Um, so that's our situation. Looking at the bigger picture, Austria declared war on us and brought that brought in Poland, Lithuania, who are our protectors. Um, and who else is actually in this war? I think Russia. Uh, are Russia allied with Austria? Yeah. Okay. Great Britain and Russia and the United Provinces are not to be sniffed at either. Whereas we, uh, what am I looking for in here? Poland, Lithuania. Yeah. Well, they're allied with Russia. So who are Russia? Let me see. Uh, they're still only at war with Prussia. So that's not so bad then. It would have been simpler just to do this. Ottomans could be causing them a problem. Poland, Lithuania. Okay. So the Ottomans might well be pressurizing Austria, going for Vienna. What's our. I think we have a um, trade agreement with the Ottomans. Uh, yes, of course. Let's... Well, who are they allied with? I cannot ally with an ally of my enemies. The Ottomans. Is it the Barbary States? Apologies for this, I should have really looked at this off camera. Um, yeah, so that must be it. Bloody Barbary States. Where are you anyway? How about peace? We are not wives of desert goat herds who can be bought at a handful of shiny trinkets. That was a terrible accent. Okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't even offering you shiny trinkets, I was just asking for peace. Okay, so I was hoping that we might have been able to get an alliance with the Ottoman Empire and really put the pressure on the Austrians. In fact, look. Munich and Vienna. Ah, Klausenberg, of course. Breslau. Familiar names from my Napoleonic campaign. Anyway, let's uh, end the turn and see what happens. There is uh, almost full stack. Stop reading my stuff. Poland, Lithuania. 
I didn't realise that we didn't have a trade agreement. Oh no, we couldn't get one, I think. I uh, didn't have the slots. Anyway, let's obviously accept that. Pull Lithuania. Thank you very much for your custom, sir. Just don't have the forces right now for what's going on here. I do need an army from Poland and Lithuania to come across and attack the Austrians so that I can then deal with all these ragtags that keep raiding all my provinces. Alright, we've got some recruitment done. Good. So what is this army all about? Mostly line infantry, some pandours, lots of guns, old demi cannon. That's a strong army. I think I need to move back into Dresden. And these guys, yeah, they're in reinforcement range. I was hoping I might have been able to at least deal with this force and then withdraw into Dresden. No sign of any allies coming into my aid, no. Yeah, I think the imperative is that we hold on to Dresden. I don't want to lose my army trying to defend Prague. How much money do we have? 2,800. How much are we making? Uh, not through there, you won't see it. 1,900 still. Oh my god. We get nothing from the Ottomans. The trade route uh, is being blockaded. Uh, that's not a force I can move. I need troops to go up and free up the port. I need troops to defend Prague. I need troops to defend Dresden. I need troops to defend Berlin. Right, let's go ahead and consolidate our forces in here. And... Can't build any of this yet. If I attack there, I probably can't get back into to Dresden. I don't think I can't recruit Cav anywhere. Hmm. Where do I go? I don't want to just sit here this turn. But we might be forced to do that. At least we've got positive income. Um So we're not going to starve out if we do have to just sit here. I think what we'll do is recruit some more troops in Berlin, just in case we're besieged in Dresden. Uh, and if I could get some sort of force, at least to go and open up the trading port. Maybe even... Nah. Send an expedition up to deal with that Prussian force uh, and then come back, try and get back in to support Dresden. So, right. Let's get three regiments of foot only. 
upkeep cost of 230 as opposed to 170. Two of them, one militia. And we still have 991. Um, I'm not going to spend any money in there. There's nowhere to spend money up here. Uh, this doesn't cost much. I'm going to repair that. May even tempt them to come out. But then I need to repair the port before we can get any trade back in. Yeah, I think we might be able to repair the farm and not lose it straight away. Right. I'm going to recruit some more troops in here. We've got three batteries of guns, well, two and a half. will do. Okay, let's have a look at diplomacy again, just quickly. Uh, there is nobody else we can trade with. No, I don't think anybody is really very friendly to us, apart from these guys. Württemberg. No, not going to do it. Anything of that nature. Allied with Westphalia and Austria, so they're not going to go into any sort of better terms with me, I don't think. So we'll just end the turn. Await our fate. Yeah, so they go for Prague. Um, to resolve, let them retake their capital. They've lost almost a thousand men. <laughs> We're on citizens. Punched well above your weight there, I think. Okay, so our control of Prague was short-lived. But if nothing else, it's but as a time to strengthen our own force slightly. Let's see some Ottomans appearing in here. Uh, oh yeah, that's the army that was in Berlin. We have a first spy. Where is he? Oh, he's in. Or around Berlin. Agents, you... What do I want to do with them though? I actually want to send them over here and see if there's any allies wandering around doing nothing. I think we need to send them over here. This is the one area I don't really have any vision on. These guys might be recruiting more troops. Not there, really. What else do we have? Uh, agent recruited and salary gained, plus two to management for Navy administration. That's fantastic. I suppose I'm not landlocked. Uh, I've got recruitment. Right. I think now we could come out, attack this army, and withdraw again. Or Westphalia. I 
I'm really torn between going for the town, getting the school back, or going for the mines, because I think, well, probably either of them. It doesn't matter which one I take. If I retake one, it'll be lost again in the next end turn. Probably. I want more troops in there. How much money do I make now? Keep looking at the wrong one. Now down to 307. Where might I merge? There. Those two would give us 296. Um, I think we'll actually merge these two because they've got the same level of experience, roughly. I'm not seeing what just happened there. Do we not merge? Well, like, should that not have been 299? Or was it two? No. 262? That's the one there. It's 262. Okay. Uh, so we'll see how much money we make next turn. But for now, again. Can't spend any money in here. How much do we have? 962. So I can only get one unit of whichever of these I go for. So I'll go for another regiment of line infantry, I think. Or takes two turns. Mind. No, I think we're better just getting the infantry for now. Please, friends, come and help. Put at least a wee bit of pressure on Austria. What's happening over here? Some attack. But then... Uh, Bigger picture, Poland, Lithuania. Well, it's only really Prussia and Austria that you're at war with. Actually, you're allied with Russia still, which is a good sign. Furtenberg and Gdansk, fantastic. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who Poland Lithuania might be fighting. So they could be engaged up there, but I cannot understand why, after so many turns, we still haven't seen an army over here. Anyway, sounds like I'm bleating. Let's stop and end the turn. See if Austria move out against us. No, they don't. Learned our lesson. Learned it well in Prussia. You did come down. Right, you're dead. You're dead and out of this world. If only I had some calf to chase down their calf. And we can't form square. So the infantry is going to take losses. But I need that army gone. 
and then they might be able to get this province somewhat under control, especially with Bert Württemberg across in Gdansk. Um, done. Now we can 28, we're still positive at least. I wonder if I can get a unit from here up to the port. We shall see. But for now, you guys go and attack here. Yes, go for it. And we'll fight. Yeah, I think once this battle's over, I might send one unit up to Rostock. And the other three will head into Dresden. And hopefully our enemies just stay away from us. Okay, we're going over here. We need to be in the forest, such as it is. Uh, let's have militia in front. Sacrificial, as they say. You all been behind. In fact, you're going to be even further behind. Don't shoot it well. Everyone on guard mode. And let's get moving. They're down in that valley over there. Right, so let's have you up here. If they don't come towards us, we're going to get some troops into this house. I don't know if that would be in range to shoot them. Um, but anyway, we'll get some troops in there. We'll try and take as much of the high ground as we can and see if we can lure them into an attack. Well, they're obviously not going to sit there and just take infantry fire. Look at them all in their shiny new uniforms. We've got some movement happening, but that's just yep, repositioning face our advance. How many men can we fit? 276. Okay, one lane regiment can go in there. We could also have a regiment along here in the woods on this slope. In fact, that's impassable terrain, I think, if we can get that close to them. We definitely need to have another regiment up here. And that ridge line. Having said all that, we'll probably be about here and we'll get attacked. Right, continue. No, uh, up about there. Put the militia across there if we can. Just try to give them a slope to stand on at least. Where are we? Actually, they should be in range when they get into that house. I thought I saw movement there, but maybe not. Uh, everyone come off fire at will. Try and keep the house between us and them.
Okay, let's have you. There's movement. Just changing facing, I think. Uh, you match up into there. You can stop in there for now. You're going to come up here and then you'll head off into that house. I think, can we get your position over here somewhere? Well, no, actually, let's try something more a bit like that. There, across here. That's better. Okay, you get into the house and the run. Still not moving, that's okay. And then, oh, there's movement happening now, I think. If you would come and stand somewhere along here. you come in here Let's see how we go with that right oh well can't see your range because you're inside the house but you're definitely in musket range right you guys run get into position I think we probably want you a bit more like that. And everyone can now go back to shoot at will. like pull back out on musket range. Maybe come forward again. These guys are still in range. Okay. I need to get around the flank. Here should be shooting them as well, but only a few guys can bring their weapons to bear, obviously. Down here, yeah, it's going all right. Taking a few casualties off them. Could you maybe change your facing slightly? It's not really what I wanted. Uh, there. Right, how are we doing? They've not charged us here at least yet. Okay, actually, not everyone got inside, but oh, hello. Not everyone got inside, did they? Where are your extras? isn't a bad move. Maybe that impassable terrain there was what was preventing them from attacking. Now that I've left it, they feel obliged to charge in.
No, don't don't attack them. Stay here. Taking a lot of casualties, good stuff. Let's move. You come along here now. I don't want to move this regiment about too much. In case it encourages these guys to attack, but I don't know where they're going anyway. Coming round the rear, going for the militia, are you? No. Nope. Pulled off there. Okay, you turn around, face that direction, you keep an eye, you keep an eye on them. Ah, uh, there's the extra men. We had some cam for artillery to try and take some more men off that regiment. You are in range. And picking off the odd man here and there. You run, get into position, try and get a volley off before this charge comes home. Fire! Don't fire! Stand there and take it. Right. Uh, Melee, you run over and charge them as well. And General's going there too, so you come after them as well. You get out of the house. Let's continue for now, see if we can get a few more casualties off them. Don't think so. No. Okay. Might they come back though? There's a thing. You form up down there. These guys are broken. They've gone. Yeah, they're not coming back. So, quit the battle. Might have to go again if we want to wipe them out. It was 59. I actually killed two thirds of them. Buggers. Yeah, I don't think I'm attacking them and then getting back into Dresden. So I think we can get up there. Let's send a regiment of foot. No, let's send, well, there's 390 men. Yeah, let's send this regiment up here. Can't quite get in, never mind. You guys, what have you got? Still get the three regiments, or what's left of the three. You come into Dresden. Hopefully keep these guys at bay. And 67 income. And again, do I want to invest in this? How much does it cost? 30. We'll do it again. If nothing else, it might encourage them back and we can finish them, hopefully. to get the port opened again. I want 
wonder how much it'll cost to repair. It doesn't look too badly damaged. Oh, 250, so I think 184 plus 67, so we should have the money to repair the port next time. We shall see. We'll find that out in the next part. So I'm going to put a break in here. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.